guys and welcome back to Juno How To and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make paper look old or how to age paper. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some tea bags. So I made some tea bags, put some water in there for about five minutes and then took out the water but I just left a bit of water in there. You'll see why in a minute. And then I left and then you're going to need some coffee beans and then you'll heat it later. I'll show you that at the end. So you begin by getting one of the tea bags. I've got the tea bag, and you just dab it around. And yeah, you use two so you get the other side. And make sure you don't put it just in like a plain surface. You put something underneath like this tray. And it doesn't matter if you crease the paper because it'll just make it look better in the end. And you can squeeze it like just way along. And then get the other tea bag for the other side. The reason you leave some of the water behind inside is because. Um, like after you've used the tea bags, they start to dry out a bit. So when you put them back in the water, they'll get like damp again. So you could use more. So yeah, and you could save tea bags. So if you're going to use like two pieces of paper, and you're going to do both sides, then yeah, well, they just spread that along. So yeah, as you can see now, the paper is pretty damp. And that kind of looks old already, look. I left out the top bit here. Yeah. Um, already. And then the coffee beans. You just wriggle them along. And that just gives it the darker colour. And then you get the tea bag again. And then you mix up the coffee beans around it. Get the other tea bag because that one's dried up. And as you can see, the colours are already getting darker all the way around. And then you get the other side, and then it's already quite wet, so you're gonna have to leave it to dry for a bit. But you'll see the result. And then just get the other side. Don't worry too much about all the leftover coffee beans because they'll go off at the end. So yeah, as you can see now, it's getting, it's looking older already. So yeah, I'll show you the next bit. What I've done now is I've left it to dry for a little while and then I've moved it out of the old pan into a new pan. And then what you're going to need, you can either put it over a cooker, you can iron it, or you can use a hairdryer. I think hairdryer is the most reasonable thing to use. So yeah, I've got my hairdryer here. In a, not on a cold heat, on a high, like so, not on cold, because you can like change your settings, keep it all on warm. Not too warm, but like, yeah. Just go over it. Keep going over it until it's dried up. Do the edges. And then after it's all dried, you start to crease up the paper. So you can give it like the old look. Like, leave that alone. Still quite wet, like, for a few minutes. It'll dry up really quickly. And I think that way about these people. So guys, this is a paper after. You can hear it where it's like, you can hear like the paper where it's creased off. And it looks quite cool when you like, do it like, close it up, crease it, and then you can open it, re-dry it, and jet. You could like change the effect, so like you can put more tea, more coffee, less tea, less, co less coffee, and you could change it up and it'll look really cool in the end. So yeah, that's how to age paper and make paper look cold. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.